So let's look at this task. Task one, we are required to create this chart from this table. First, let's look at the title. Favorite films for those aged uh, between 15 and 25 years. It means that uh, we will we will create this. Uh, we, will, we will select the, this field and uh, only the people who are aged between 15 and 25 years. Okay. So let's select these two fields and insert pie chart. Uh, the firstly, the size of this chart is bigger. I will make it a bit smaller. And uh, now let's add the title part. Uh, favorite. Not 25. Okay. Uh, now this text should be black in color and bold. Now I'm looking at the outside border should be as well. So click uh, the outside border. You see the format chart title automatically appears. Also, you can do it uh, just from the chart title and more options. You can activate the same dialog uh, window. Okay, so border should be solid border, solid line, and the color is black. Click outside, you see it is added, uh, it's colored the black, but it also have a shadow from the right and the bottom side of the rectangle. So move, go, uh, move to the second option, shadow, and select the color black. Also select the type of shadow, it should be uh, button and the right side. Transparency is 60%, so it is a light color, decrease to zero, you will get the same, uh, same kind of shading. All right, uh, also I see that my uh, chart, this chart has the outline, but mine is not, so let's add it now. Uh, click, click on the color, borders and solid line should be black. Okay. Click outside. Yeah, you will see the color. Here we have a uh, legends, uh, which is uh, defining each of this uh, color, but we don't need to have it. We don't need to see it according to our picture chart. So remove the legend. Instead of that, we have uh, the data labels. So I'm going to add the data labels. Uh, it should be it should be content, not the percentage. So go to more options. From the more options of data label, and let me show you again. Uh, data label, more options. Uh, remove the value, select the category name. Okay, remove the value and the select the category name. Uh, it changed only for one I, because I didn't select all of them. Select all data labels and select category name. Remove the value. All right, also it should be on the outside. So make, make it uh, label position outside end. Now it's look good. Okay, also the size of the text is not uh, bigger enough, also it is italic. So let's go to the home, uh, make it italic and size a bit bigger. Like 12, 13, uh, 13 14 is enough. Let's write 13. Okay, and the color, let's make sure that it is black. Uh, now, Wait a second. 
Let me expand the size of this as well. So this one will fit perfectly. Okay, this one is a linear, but mine is a wrapped text because it's not fitting in a single cell. So let me, I've, I'm gonna increase the cell size. Uh, as you see, it is uh, added automatically. All right, now the color part. For the color, I didn't give the color code, so you, you will try to find the approximately same color. You will not uh, get, your, your mark will not be decreased if you can't get the exact same color. If I, in case that I don't give the color code to you, Okay, uh, so approximately I'm trying to find the similar or very close color to that. Okay, let's add this one as well. No, not this one. It will take a bit longer for me to get the colors, okay. And this one, all right. I also understand some people sometimes have the you know, color blindness. Sorry, I couldn't say the word, blindness. A, this one as well. Okay, and then this one. Close to the white. Okay. Now, uh, when you look at the, when you look at the outline, you see that uh, there is a black outline as well in our uh, chart. So let's add. Uh, solid line and color make sure that it is black okay and the size of uh, width of the line is not okay because it is thicker than given in the picture I will decrease it and check it again now it is fine okay now we need to expand uh, sorry ex extract this part out from the entire chart so select only that piece. Make sure that you are selecting only this barbella part and extract it out. Okay, a bit more. That's it. You done. Task one. All right. Now you can move to task two. Task two, we have a, a beautiful bar chart uh, in the 3D shape with a flat, uh, with the floor and axis. So I'm checking the graph. It says there's car sales compared, men, women. Uh, so it means we will select both fields, men and women, also the uh, car names. So select the three fields, insert 3D bar chart. Okay. And uh, let's look at the legend this time first. Legend should be on the right side. Bring it to the right top. Also, it has an outline. Uh, so click over the uh, legend, double click. Or you can basically do legend, more options. Okay. Uh, fill the color make the color solid line and make sure it is black so it is done we don't need to have uh, here the grid line so you can just eliminate it or unselect the grid line it's gone what we have we have uh, axis names and axis lines so let's add the x line first Double click, uh, sorry, this one is done. Okay, double click over that, over the name of the axis. So you will have 
the fill axis options and go to the fill and select the solid line. Okay. I want you to pay attention to one thing because here we have a tick marks for each of the value. So I also want to add this tick marks as well. Uh, you will do it from the access options, uh, from this part, tick marks. And right now it is my major type is none. Select the, look, it is outside. So you need to select the outside one. See? Okay. This one also need to have a outside uh, line, tick marks. Done. Now I'll add the axis titles. Both, both of them I need to have a horizontal and a vertical one. Right now it is primarily horizontal and vertical. So horizontal name is manufacturer. And the vertical one is percentage. Also make sure that this uh, color text are black, also bold, because it's, as you see, it is uh, thicker than this text. Same thing I'm doing in here as well. Black and bold. Okay. Uh, now, I it's time to color our chart. So this one is a different color blue. Select the field and uh, let's try to find that color. Okay, this one is fine. For this one. Yeah, great. This is also fine. Now, one thing I need to add here is the flat uh, floor. Select the chart and from plot, you see plot area options at the floor. Select again, at the floor. Okay, it, actually it's added in here. See, uh, what the color is white, that's why we don't see uh, it right now. Change the color to black text one okay no fill solid fill and the color to this one okay now one thing left that is perspective perspective of this graph you see there is a, some depth uh, depths in the graph which we need to make create uh, the shortcut of this right click uh, over the graph and do 3D rotation, okay? And uh, when you bring, uh, scroll the cursor down from the chart, format chart area to 3D rotation. Here you have a perspective uh, and X rotation, Y rotation, for example. You can uh, change the rotation of the X separately the same thing you can do for the Y. Uh, but here there is one thing, auto scale. If you remove the auto scale, so for making it uh, perspective per, uh, fit perfectly, uh, again, rotation, 3D, uh, 3D rotation we need to get. Uh, remove the right angle axis and change the X rotation and also Y rotation. Almost there, almost you get, just decrease this one a bit. Yeah, you can say that that's fine. Just one thing I want you to pay attention is, uh, my graph doesn't have outlines, uh, which is given in the sample. So one by one, select each of this graph and make it uh, fill solid line to the outside solid line. 
Okay. Uh, just two things left, uh, which is the angle of the horizontal title and the horizontal angle of this words. For making them horizontally aligned, close the text option and uh, horizontal. You see, it's actually horizontal, so it means that we need to change the custom angle. Yeah, uh, I increase it by one. Now it's fitting uh, horizontally, but uh, the size of the text is not uh, fine. That's why you don't see all titles, you see only three of them. For make them all visible, I'll in decrease the size of text. Yeah, it, it's appeared now, but uh, very small. Anyway, I'll change it later. Uh, let's keep it for now. And this word manufacturer also, we need to change the angle, custom angle. Yes, now it's better. You can increase the size of the graph and align everything else perfectly. Okay, uh, that's fine. Totally one thing I totally need to add here. The border of the rectangle and again shape shades. Text uh, color make it black and bold and size a bit smaller. Okay, now we have done. Also, let's add the outline of this chart as well. Yeah, now we can say we have done of this.